Hello my dear students in this video we discuss about the long questions from class 10 subject math chapter compound interest in the previous videos we discussed six different long questions from chapter compound interest in different videos in three previous videos you can see those questions which are solved in the previous videos on the screen right now today we will solve two more questions two more long questions from chapter compound interest question number seven prakash lent all together rupees six thousand to anima and elena for two years anima agrees to pay simple interest at ten percent per annum and elena agreed to pay compound interest at the rate of eight percent per annum if Elena paid rupees 50 more than Anima as the interest, find how much did he lend to each? This question is asked in SLC 2062. In this question, there is a person Prakash. He lent some money, total 6000 to Anima and Elena. Anima ra Elena lai chai, jamma chajar rupi. Loan is a dumb for time two years. This time is two years for anima as well as Elena. But for anima, rate is 10% per annum simple interest. For Elena, rate is 8% per annum compound interest. At the last of two years, Elena paid rupees 50 more. It means that. Compound interest paid by Elena is rupees 50 more than simple interest paid by Elena. So we need to find out how much money was given to Elena and Elena each. Solution for Anima let principal P is equal to X time T is equal to two years and rate R is equal to ten percent for annum simple interest. So here Simple interest SI is equal to PTR by 100 or simple interest is equal to X into times 2 into rate is 10 divided by 100. All are in one function from so 10 minus the 10, 10 10 the 100. 2 divided by 10 is 0.2x therefore simple interest is equal to 0.2x now for Elena for Elena let principal P is equal to 6000 minus x total 6000 is given x is taken by x is given to anima the remaining 6000 by x is equal to elena time t is equal to 2 years rate r is equal to 8% per annum compound interest so here Compound interest CI will be equal to P one plus R by hundred whole power P minus one or compound interest is equal to value of P is six thousand minus X. 1 plus value of R is 8 divided by 
100 whole power t is 2 minus 1 or compound interest is equal to 6000 minus x here 8 divided by 100 is 0 0.08 plus 1 becomes 1.08 whole square minus 1 or compound interest is equal to 6000 minus x 1.08 whole square is 1 1.1664 1.08 whole square 1.1664 minus 1 or compound interest is equal to 6000 minus x into 1.664 minus 1 is 0 0.1664. If we calculate this, then we get compound interest is equal to 0 0.1664 into 6000 will be 998.4 minus 0 0.1664 into x, 0 0.1664. Simple interest is 0 0.2x, compound interest is 998.4 minus 0 0.1664x. By question, okay. Elena paid rupees is 50 more. Elena means compound interest is 50 more. It means compound interest is equal to simple interest plus 50 or compound interest 998.4 998 minus 0.1664x is equal to simple interest 0.2x 0.2x plus 15 bringing all the numbers with variable at one side the constant to other side minus 0.1664x minus 0.2x is equal to 50 minus 998.4 or minus 0.1664 both are minus so we need to add 0.2 minus 0.3664x is equal to Subtracting 50 from 998.4, we will get 9 minus 948.4 or x is equal to minus 948.4 divided by minus 0 0.3664. If we divide, we will get x is equal to 2588.43 We need to find, find how much money did it relate to its x to anywhere it means 2588.43 to anywhere for Elena 6000 minus x and 6000 minus x is equal to 6000 minus 2588.43 that will be rupees that will be rupees 3411.57 3411.57 hence money lend to any man is rupees 2588.43 and to Elena is rupees 3411.5 
Question number 8. At a certain rate of yearly compound interest, a sum of money amounts to rupees 66,550 in 3 years and rupees 73,205 in 4 years. Find rate of interest and the sum. This question was asked in SLC 2068. Here in this question, there is a sum which amounts to rupees 66,550 in 3 years and 73,205 in 4 years. These are the amounts. We need to find the rate of interest and the sum. Solution. We know P one plus R divided by hundred whole power T is equals to compound amount here. Given the compound amount. Compound amount of a sum of money in three years is equals to rupees six, six, sixty-six thousand five hundred fifty, or compound amount of sum of money in three years. Equals to 66,550. 66, we can write P1 plus R by 100 whole power T in 3 years is rupees 66,550. 66, Let us solve the equation 1. Also, the compound amount. of a sum of money in four years is equals to rupees seventy three thousand two hundred five or we can write P one plus R by hundred whole power four equals to seventy three thousand two hundred five. Let us suppose equation 2. Now, dividing equation 2 by 1. There is a power block or equation like this. There is a power block equation divide by 2. What will we get? We will get P 1 plus R by 100 whole power 4 divided by P 1 plus R by 100 whole power 3 will be equal to 73,205 divided by 66,550. Since P in both numerator and denominator are in multiplication form. We can cancel P in both numerator and denominator. Here the power, the base of the powers are same. So here 1 plus R power 4 so here 4 ta sa, here 3 ta sa. Yo 3 ta ra maathi ko 3 ta kaar da kari baangi raayo. Yo ta. Maathi 4 ta sa tala 3 ta. साठा मध्य वाला तीन तक आना कर बांगी रहा है ये उटा और one plus r by hundred is equal to seventy three thousand two hundred five divided by six thousand five hundred fifty बट आपने आपसे one point one one point one और r by hundred is equal to one point one minus one और r is equal to one point one minus one is zero point one 
divide by 100 to the other, multiply by 100. Therefore, the rate will be 10 percent per annum. Now, putting the value of R. in equation 1. Can put the value in equation 2 also. P 1 plus R by 100 whole power 3 equals to 66,550. This is equation 1. Or P 1 plus value of R 10 divided by 100 whole power 3 is equal to 66,515 or P 0 and 0 is cancelled 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1 whole Q is equal to 66,515 or P 1.1 whole cube equals to 66,115 or P 1.1 whole cube is 1.331 1.331 equals to 66,515 or multiply by 1.331 equal to 1 to the other divide by 1 divide by 1 66,550 divided by 1.331. Therefore, therefore, P is equal to rupees 50,000. Hence, the required rate of interest is. 10% per annum and sum is rupees 50,000. If you have any confusion and questions from today's discussion, you can comment below. In our next video, we will discuss more long question answers from chapter compound interest. To get more videos like this, please like, share, subscribe and press notification button to get more videos like this at first.